couple of more additions have arrived. Um, and the one that I'd like to talk about today is uh, the Grimm's Complete Fairy Tales. It's the, um, it's the new of the two, uh, the newer of the two versions uh, which are currently out. There is a another version which is a little bit older with uh, a, a kind of a black cover uh, and a, a very glum looking young lady on the front. Um, this one is actually quite pretty. I guess that's uh, Sleeping Beauty on the front there. It's it's a sticker, it's a glossy sticker. Um, but the uh, the detail that is painted directly onto the leather is actually very nice. I'm not sure this is the best light to show this to you. Here we go. Let's get a little bit closer to the window so that you can get a good look at this. The Again, the white paint that you're seeing is not really white, it's more like a silver. So you get silver and gold on this cover. Grimm's Complete Fairy Tales. Here is a closer look at that sticker. Some pretty colours. It's a much more gentle um, image for that front cover than the older version. Again, some slight issue with, uh, with keeping that sticker absolutely straight, but you know, um, I'm assuming this is possibly hand, hand done. Um, so yeah, it's certainly, <laughs> you know, when you, when you're picking up the book, it's not the first thing that you notice, that's for sure. Okay. Another little, um, another little, uh, uh, production issue that I noticed on, on this one is that the, uh, uh, the, the printing doesn't go quite to the edge on the right hand side, um, or as it does on the left, which makes it a little bit lopsided. Again, this is hardly the first thing that you notice when you, when you see this book. Um, I'm sure if I hadn't pointed it out, no one would have noticed. Uh, just to say that, you know, these are $20 books or $25 books. They're not $200 books. Nevertheless, beautiful, beautiful edition. What else do you get here? This is the picture from the back. I really like that. Um, yeah, so obviously the rose bushes from the Sleeping Beauty, they've gone for a Sleeping Beauty theme. All right, let me show you what it's like inside. It's exactly the same as the, um, as the edition with the darker cover. Um, quite a nice inside uh, to, the, to the front cover. Um, unusually, uh, a color first page. And that's because there's plenty of color inside. Let me um, uh, just go very quickly through the uh, contents here. You can pause at any point, make sure that um, the favorites that you know and love are here, but it is a complete Grimm's stories. So if it's by the Brothers Grimm, it should be in here. some prolific writers. Hold on, just, no. I was wondering if I'd skipped a page, but nope. 
And to finish up with, there we are. Okay, so what do you get inside? Well, you get the illustrations by Arthur Rackham. Um, a list of, list of illustrations there. Uh, of course, these are the black and white illustrations, the coloured illustrations. An introduction, as usual, with these Barnes & Nobles editions. Nice introduction about Arthur Rackham, which is nice. He's acknowledged. And those classic illustrations. Get a little bit closer here. I really like the quality that they've gone with here, even though it's um, uh, the paper on which the coloured illustrations is uh, just the same paper as, uh, as as the rest of the book, and they haven't gone for, uh, for, for blank backs. The quality of the paper is reasonable enough uh, for them to have printed it straight onto the to the uh, to the paper and it, it works fine the um, the quality is is perfectly acceptable it's it's not quite the same the same quality as uh, as as you might get in a in a slightly more expensive uh, edition um, uh, you can have a look at the review that I did for I can't even remember the color I think it was uh, edition for um, for um, selected Grimm stories, I believe it is. Um, but here you actually get all of the Grimm stories, so. Um, Lovely Art Nouveau details. Okay, uh, the print is nice and large and perfectly reasonable for reading out loud. <coughs> um, uh, I I have no um, no no strain reading um, from from this. Um, There we go. So it should give you a, a general idea of uh, of what you get inside. Okay, and you get to the last page, and let's have a look. It's the final story. to an end and and that's it and then the same picture to close up lovely edition uh, for my bookshelf reserved for the children friendly books there we go I hope you like the video uh, join us again soon join me again soon uh, I'll be reviewing um, Hans Christian Andersen and the Aesop's uh, illustrated fables very shortly.